The galaxy is at peace. Who would think so? But there'll be no end of the game if that was true. Thank you. 
Space pirate known as the Mother Brain. started right here. the elevator in time because the 
level one is gonna blow up. Thank you and destroy the person you just killed. Personally, but no.
my official playthrough of Super Metroid. I will not replay through this. I will play through it once. If I do it again, it'd be a lot the only chose a bird and turn on you. Star. 
Retro Jazz. In this CP, I could not tell you how much this game actually freaks me out. This game doesn't freak me out until we get to Meridian. Which, I bet this game got a lot of pretty high school. Maybe it was your high. But it's just Meridian that freaks, freaks me out. Man. I remember the first, my best friend in the world, Eric Thompson. He died a year after we graduated high school, he died in a shark accident. He's the one that showed me Metroid. I remember me and him played through this game, and we actually took a time out. We got to Meridian, which is our location in this game, if you don't know about it. actually took the time out, we walked to Miguel's Juniors, which is about 10 minutes away from my house. We walked there, we grabbed a burrito, and we talked about how we were actually going to play moving on in the game. And, oh yeah. Uh, you learn something about me new every single stream. That's the stream. The stream is... This one's about Eric, to be honest. That's the whole reason I'm streaming this game. He got me into this game and became one of my favorite series. He got to play Metroid 1, Metroid 2 on Game Boy, and Super Metroid, the one I'm playing now. And this is the last one that he got to play. After that, there was Metroid on DS. I bought a DS just to play it, just to beat it, and I beat it, and I sold my DS. And then I found out they remade number one on DS. I bought another DS just to beat that one, and then I beat that one. So I sold my DS again. And then they came out with Metroid Prime, Metroid Prime Fusion, Metroid Prime whatever the hell the third one was. I mean. There's three games in the Metroid Prime series. I beat one, two, and three, and they came out with like Metroid Prime. Oh, I don't think it was called Prime. I think it was it was some kind of Metroid. It was Metroid something. It was for Wii, and I beat that one. And then they came out with Metroid the other M, and I've never played that one. That's the, only, that's the only Metroid on the market right now that I've never played. <laughs> really? That's fine. I don't know if I can actually get what the hell is just about. Really? Holy crap. This game is seriously a little bit challenging if you don't know what to look for. This game is actually really complex. There's gonna be points in this game where I just do something and I'm about to fight, and then that actually is what you're supposed to do to get by. But you wouldn't actually know that if you didn't know. 
might take a little bit to get by it, but we would get by it as long as me and like six friends got by this game. And to be honest, it really was like we got this game and he had a birthday party, and when he had a birthday party, his birthday party was to pass this game. And he invited like me and four other guys. It was me, him, and four other guys. Six guys. And our whole goal that night was to pass this game. So, I mean, that's... That should let you know the meaning of this game in my life. That's why this game might mean certain things to certain people. But to me, this game means a lot more. A lot more. I think I need a super missile to get by this part. Yeah. Which I don't have yet until I go up and beat that plant dude. I'm about to stomp his ass out, trust me. Ashley knows that because I've actually spoken to her about it. Spent one missile, we get two. That's why I was actually thinking about playing Metroid 1, going through Metroid 1, playing 2, then playing 2, then playing this, which would be the third. But I didn't know if people actually appreciate that as much as I do. Like, I want to do it because I appreciate it, but I didn't know if people actually like enjoy seeing Metroid 1, 2, and so Thank you. 
whatever what's going on. I don't know if you missed my rant, but uh, basically my best friend in the whole world. He died in a truck accident. I like a shortly after a year after we graduated from high school. And his favorite game was Metroid. He actually got me into Metroid. That's the only reason I know about it. It's before him, I looked at Metroid once and I was like, wow, I got to be honest, I don't want any part of Metroid. I love the fact that you guys talk to each other. To be honest, like one of my favorite parts of my stream is when people. That's the only reason I put my chat on my live stream is because I enjoy it thoroughly. Yeah, I really do, but it's a little lot. The more people that talk in my chat, the happier I am. <coughs> Trust me, I wish I had like 200 people watching me. What if I can get that? Nope. Alright, we need this one. We need this to get that. No need for the cap, bro. I'll be honest, like, if I played this, if I get to serve this memory a little bit better, like that, that makes me happy, to be honest. Just to be honest. I'm not gonna try to lie to you, but the only reason I'm playing this game is because of it. Because if, if it wasn't for Eric, I wouldn't know about this game. Double Kappa? Really? Okay. I got to know this whole game by heart just because of him. I got to sit there as a kid in junior high and watch not only me but five other guys play this game. We like we hand the controller off to each other. Kappa's kind of like a like a I'm just messing around. Kind of like a I'm trolling. Like Kappa's kind of like a, a trolling emotion. At least that's what I've gotten from other people, how they use it. Oh shit. Stop this, I can stop this, I can play something else if you want to, but that's I was kinda of feeling a little kind of sarcastic. Yeah, sarcastic in a way of trolling. Like if you were if I was like, hey, I'm the shit. League of Legends or, you know, Infinity Crisis. Oh shit, yeah. I don't assume for that yet. Let's 
whole game is just a puzzle. Like, I will be glad to play Infinite Crisis or whatever the hell you guys want to watch. That would be actually more exciting than this. Plus, I get my high jump boots. I feel kind of dirty that I actually pulled that out. Like I said, I know this game by heart. It's just too advanced for us to understand. It was like a shooter high game for me. I don't know if a lot of you know, but I'm 30. Turning on 31, actually. Well, today's still January, so next month. February. February 18th is my birthday. February 18th. It will be uh, 31 for me. This game is awesome. Thank you. Which I need speed boots to get out of this. Yeah. Of course, I need speed boots to get through here. This game is awesome. And I also need my suit to go through here. I don't have a suit yet. Just so I'm losing life. I'm losing life because of the heat of the game. I don't have my suit yet, and of course I get my suit from Craig. Really? Hold on. Happy birthday. In case I miss it. Oh, CP. CP. I did not know that. See, I don't know this stuff. CP, happy belated birthday. You turned 16 on December 19th? I think you turned 16. And great forever, your birthday being on February 2nd, which is, of course, after today is two more days. Happy birthday, in case I don't see you or we're not live streaming or anything like that. I just want to tell you happy birthday, and you are a Capricorn. Which, you as a Capricorn, and me as an Aquarius, not only do me and Gray forever get along, because we're cool like that, but also Gray Forever is supposed to be a really funny ass guy. Yeah, I, I don't know what December is, to be honest. I'm not trying to claim I know what. Yeah. 
I don't know what December is, CP, but yes, uh, great for every right, it's Capricorn. It's really, with a C, it's Capricorn, but I'll, I'll take Capricorn, that's, that's, that's pretty clever, I like that. That's funny. Oh, I love you guys and viewers. Because to be honest, this is the whole reason, like my stream, like I've said, behind I'm trying to lay about nothing. Like, I would be honestly playing this by myself. Everything that I do on stream, I would be doing already by myself. So therefore, by you guys watching, you guys are just friending me while I'm already doing something I would normally do by myself in many ways. Like I said, I've been, trust me, I've been playing video games since my dad bought me a freaking Nintendo when I was in the kindergarten. And I would be a damn liar if I didn't say that my, the Nintendo he bought me. Oh, I thought that was super interesting. My dad bought me, well, first we went to a swap meet in Fontana, and he bought me an Atari before I was a kid. And we played Battle Tanks and all that stuff together. But me and him played. So he bought me a Nintendo when I was in kindergarten, and it came with it came with Mario Brothers, Duck Hunt, and the trackpad. It was the one of three. What the hell? I can go to it. He won't kill me, so... One super missile he went down, but I'm trying to make this halfway entertaining. <laughs> when did you move to Cali? I've always been in California. I grew up in Fontana, California. So I moved from Fontana, California to Rancho, Rancho, Cucamonga, California, Grand Terrace, Grand Terrace to Lake Arrowhead, Lake Arrowhead to Oakland, Oakland. I moved back home, back home to I got married, and we moved to Kaipa. New Kaipa, we got divorced. I moved back to my parents' house. And from there, I got an apartment here with my friend Daniel and my girlfriend Ashley. Me and Ashley broken up like one or two times, all that good stuff. Into where Daniel was just like, hey, if you date Ashley anymore, I'm gonna leave. And then I was like, hey, like, I think we really have it down this time, blah, 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 blah. And I was just trying to talk to the guy. Uh, like in a conversational text, I text him just like, hey, I'm thinking about doing this. And our agreement was that I was going to live here and date her out of the house. And she was going to live with her dad, but she was living with her dad. And I brought that up and he was just like, I'm gone. Like I'm moving in with my sister on Friday. And it was like Tuesday. I was like, in two days you're gonna move out? He was like, yeah, blah, blah, blah. Whether you, whether you get back with her or not, I'm moving out. So at that point, it was just like, well, I have to have a roommate or else I won't be able to financially purchase this place by myself. <clears throat> Which at that point, I hit Ashley up. I was like, this is happening, blah, blah, blah. 
which he was not on the lease, me and Ashley are on the lease, and Ashley thought it'd be better if she moved in and we not lose this place because it would go towards our credit and an eviction if we did lose this place, so therefore she moved back in and me and her are currently together and doing the best that, to be honest, that we've ever been. And uh, Daniel moved out, which I never once asked him to move out. I never once said, hey, like, I want to get back with her. I want this place to be me and her be here alone or anything like that. But that never happened. So therefore, it's kind of like a, it's a soft spot of conversation because it's kind of still weird. But that's kind of what went down, because, I mean, Daniel, to be honest, was a really good friend for, like, the last, i say, like, 10, 15 years. And, to be honest, just the way things went down, it's, I was just trying to have a conversation with him, and before he even hit me back, letting me know what his decision was on it, or let me know how he felt on it, which he kind of let me know how he felt on it before, but I was just like, hey, like, I just, I want, this is what's going on, blah, 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 blah. I'm a very forgiving person, that he's not forgiving at all. And she kind of went after both of us, so therefore that's why he kind of took it rough. And from there he was like, hey, I'm going to move out, so. Yeah, no, we live in an apartment. It's a two-bedroom apartment. This is currently the living room. We have internet out of the box, right behind my computer right here. That we have 300 down, 20 up. It's ridiculous internet. We have a living room. Over that way, we have a kitchen, which you saw a picture of the other night. You saw how tall I was. That was the kitchen. To the left, is a spare bedroom, and to the right is our bedroom. Oh, this is where I was trying to jump on. Okay. Up here you get refilled missiles and health. Health? And missiles. Which I think are already filled, but yeah. Which obviously that was somebody that was trying to get through before, but died, so... If I could! Gotta love this. I just love the fact that my computer runs a lot better than Super Nintendo already. And he grows to about a two sword building. I'm trying to only be able to find 
super shot. I know I can get him easily with my uh, super missiles, but. I should never try to beat him like this. That's why I might like a little bit harder for him to be trying to beat like this, but. I never be able to put so much on Yeah, like I said, I can easily kill it with a super missile. I knew that was evident. There's two games I really wanted to play that was Eric's favorites. And that was Super Metroid or any Metroid series of the Metroid series. And there's also, uh, the Dracula series. It was, uh, Dracula, the Symphony of the Night. And to be honest, that game is effing amazing, to be honest. Just to be honest, that game was sick. And that was also one of his favorite games as well. I don't want to do a playthrough of that for him. Really? When you supercharge your gun like that and you jump, you have screw attack. So charge. Screw attack is amazing. Which later on in the game you actually get infinity and super attack, which is just awesome. Right now, all I did by beating him was get my suit to where I can go in hot places, which is. Yeah, I got an A tank right here. Which B takes, you have 900 energy. So as you run out of that, you go into 99 more of another tank, 99 more of another tank, 99 more of another tank. Makes the many tanks you have. <laughs> Capital level is real. Well, just because I've played this game like a bazillion times. Which actually... Oh, shoot. I need to find a save room, quick. I'm not picking up Ashley for work, but I am uh, going down to... We're getting a joint account. And she was saying that she really wanted to join account. So therefore, we're going to be my best interest is to save this game as fast as I possibly can, run down there, and get that joint account with her. Glad you guys watched. I'm 
I'm about to leave right now to go get that joint account, like I said. The game is saved. I'm gonna mark this as uh, episode one. I'm gonna load this onto my YouTube channel because I want this to be on my YouTube channel. In case you haven't seen my YouTube channel yet, I don't even know how you would look that up. Uh, if you're friends with Ashley, she's friends with me on YouTube. But other than that, yeah, I think it's just JWill909, or it might be JWill909 at AOL.com. Or I don't know how you look up YouTube stuff, but that's just YouTube stuff. Anyways, I'm gonna load up this video. This will be episode one. I'm gonna do a whole playthrough of this game. Hope you can watch on YouTube. Send me those likes, all that stuff. See ya, peace, all that good stuff. Thank you for watching once again. It means a lot to me, especially while I play these games. Eric would have liked it a lot. And I also want to play the Castlevania playthrough as well, because that's actually his... His favorite playthrough series was, was Metroid. And he also liked the whole Castlevania stuff as well, so... Thank you.